Oh, what's up, Tribe Builders? Welcome to another episode of Fix My Facebook Group, episode number seven, where I dive into your Facebook groups and I get to dissect them and show you how to grow them, engage them, and monetize them uh, more efficiently. Uh, and I've got uh, a bunch of Facebook groups here that I'm going to dive through, walk through, and show you how to do all that. If you have a Facebook group, go grab your URL right now uh, and put it in the comments. If I don't get to it on this episode, I will get to it on a future episode. And that's what we're going to dive into. Also, at any time, this is also an ask me anything. I love questions. I love coaching. So drop your questions down below. I will get to all of them and answer them. Uh, and as a reminder, uh, a Facebook group is simply a way to move somebody from a, a stranger to a raving fan of what you do. So there is so many other elements of growing a business. Um, and one thing that I want to share with you guys real quick today is what we went over in our seven figure CEO program, which is building out the brains of your team, your leadership team and how you should do it step by step. I've got a little graphic here uh, for you that I think would be really cool and really helpful as you guys grow and build out your teams and uh, start scaling to uh, multiple seven figures. Uh, and we're gonna dive into that. So let me flip this bad boy around and show you the little graphic. <clears throat> Pop it in here. And let me also pull up some Facebook. What's up, Victoria? If you guys get anything out of this at any time, hit that heart button, hit that like button. The more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, the more people we can help. If you get any value out of this, hashtag value down below as well. Um, let me flip this around. So this is actually what we went over uh, in our seven figure CEO training today. The brains of the team, what they're responsible for and how you can leverage these brains to build out the strategy and to drive your vision. So it might be a little bit higher level for some people on this Facebook Live, um, but if you guys are looking to scale past seven figures, this is the program for you. Building out your team, building out your systems, building out your whole operations. Um, and this is the team that I have now. We have more hands, their brains and their hands. Brains are your leadership team. Um, and this is what we have now. So I have an ops uh, manager, Paul, um, then a marketing manager, uh, Jimmy, uh, uh, sales lead Mitchell and delivery lead Avery. These are the things that they're responsible for uh, in the main KPIs that they're responsible for. So if you're at that level, shoot uh, hashtag seven figure CEO down below uh, and we'll connect and chat and see if you are a good fit to uh, scale past seven figures with us or seven figures in profit with us by building out team systems and a monthly recurring offer. So um, yeah, I want to jump into that before we get started on this journey of diving into Facebook groups. Uh, and we're actually going to start with one of my favorite Facebook groups, Shane Hilliers, which is real estate marketing and conversion mastery. Um, but uh, what is up, guys? Um, so Justin, what's up? Google software is draw.io. Um, that's where we make all our sexy stuff. Josh, dude, Josh, we need to reconnect. Miss you, brother. Uh, Alex, what's up, man? John, Xavier, Sean, Brett. What's up, guys? Brett, I think I'm going through your Facebook group somewhere here. Um, but if you guys have a group, pop the link down below. Um, I'll go in, audit it, do all that good stuff. Um, we've made over $2 million from our own Facebook group, from Facebook groups, from Messenger. We're actually selling a, a mini messenger product right now that you might be seeing in your ads is just kick ass. Um, really how you move somebody from a group to messenger to a sales call. Uh, all the goodies are inside of that training. John, what's up, man? Awesome. Let's do it. So this is Shane Hillier's group. Um, solid name, a lot of keywords. Uh, Shane actually worked with me inside of our authority accelerator program. Um, built the group over 10,000 members when I was like, he had another group and I just yelled at him like, dude, you need to build a new group. Um, and he did, uh, put a solid name. The banner is really good. Um, usually I advise you have your name in your banner and what it's about. 
But what this does is it produces a pattern interrupt. So he just, this was the first banner that he put up. And a lot of people will find you in the suggested group sidebar. Um, and what this does, having this, uh, this uh, type of banner here is it produces a pattern up where people start to click on it. So in your group, um, if you have a banner that is just dull or it's like off center or anything like that, like this is the first thing that people see. So you want to produce a pattern interrupt if they find you in the suggested group sidebar and run with it. So that is really, really good. Um, the reason why they were able to grow so quick is because they were consistent. They did these whiskey Thursdays where they bring people in, bring an expert in, and they just get drunk and, and chat. Um, so they have a great uh, strategy there. Plus, Shane is super duper helpful inside of his Facebook groups and creates raving fans that way. Um, one thing that I would point out, I think this is a GIF. Never use GIFs on posts. GIFs uh, limit the reach on your posts. So um, never ever use GIFs. You wanna use a picture. It, this might be a picture, but you wanna use a picture, right? Um, doo, doo, doo. Another thing I would add here, um, brother. Oh, no way. Oh, that's sweet. I, I follow Stefan Graham on YouTube. Who's, who's with Stefan? That's awesome. Um, so this is great. Boom like great header, uh, solid. Uh, I always recommend that you do two lives in your group per week minimum. So ideally we do an interview every Wednesday, an expert interview, and then every Friday we do a client interview. Uh, that cadence has worked really, really well for us. Uh, highly recommend because before interviews, you can do uh, what we call interview hype posts that also generate a lot of, um, uh, a lot of uh, engagement where you're just like, hey, I'm interviewing this person who has done X. They're going to show you X. Drop a comment down below if you want to be tagged on the live stream. We did it for this interview. So um, those just work great. Type posts for interviews and then doing interviews, do two a week, really easy, does not take much time. Um, so this is looking good. One thing that I would recommend is that you have a welcome video up top, brother. Um, and make sure that's the first thing that people hit and then you take them to a conversion asset, right? So people hit our Facebook group, they see a welcome video and our conversion asset, the five day group growth and engagement challenge. If you look through this Facebook group, everybody that has a Facebook group should immediately take somebody to a conversion asset, right? Warms people up, shows them like, you know, your shit and takes them to a call to action, right? You go through the five-day group growth and monetization blueprint. It takes you to a call to action that is either uh, go to GGMB or schedule a call, right? Like everybody watching right now, like that will make you money. If you just have a conversion asset, a five-day challenge, a VSL, a webinar in your group that takes them to book a call or takes them to uh, a sales page, boom. That should be the first thing that your, your people in your group hit. But overall, looks great, Shane. Also, uh, if you guys are listening, you're taking notes, I would love to hear your biggest takeaways just along the way. So if you're like, oh shit, I need a conversion asset, put it in the comments down below, whether you're watching live or on the replay. It really just helps you help it uh, soak in and you'll actually be more likely to do it uh, if you're uh, repeating back what you hear, right? So Shane looks good, brother. Uh, oh shit, need to join your group. There we go. Leah, I love it. Uh, cool, your transformation journey, healthy habits, nutrition, workouts, and mindset, awesome. Um, solid broad name, so my first Facebook group, was uh, second Facebook group, uh, like name, was Digital Marketing for Entrepreneurs. It brought a lot of people into my world, but it wasn't as focused. So now our name is Seven Figure Business Scaling Secrets. That's the promise of our offer, right? Is this making sense? Are you tracking with me? Your Facebook group name, once you have a solid offer in place, 
it should be it should align with the promise of that core offer that you're selling so this is good this is good to get a bunch of people in and then once you have solidified your core offer your core promise then you want to change your facebook group name up to align with that core offer that core promise right that way you're attracting more uh uh more of your ideal clients into your facebook group um, but solid, uh, you got proof in your banner. That looks great. You've got units going on. I'm sure they're learning a lot in the units. Let's check that out. Testimonials and wins. I love that. So good. If you guys are not doing interviews with your clients, you should, and you should put them in the units and, and Leah, you're ahead there. That looks great. Workouts, simple tips. This is awesome. This is how you get people to fall in love with you. Um, it's from nailing in just the ease of consuming information, right? Uh, where are all my chocolate fans at? Cool, solid hook, hell yeah. Cool, awesome. I would have every, every Facebook Live should have somewhat of a title to kind of open a loop and bring people in. So I'd look out for that. I love this a great engagement question. Like all of you guys should create a Google document um, and just put a bunch of engagement questions in that Google document. So you never run out of content like that will actually peak engagement. So we have a document that just engagement questions that we've gone into other Facebook groups have seen and have really, really worked. Put it in a Google document and then we just copy and paste when we need one. Right. Um, Yep, this is great. Great engagement questions. You're responding back to them. You're answering your own. I always recommend this. Uh, Lee is part of Group Growth and Monetization Blueprint as well. Um, but uh, but she's answering her question. And the reason for that is because then people start thinking about you when they do that thing, right? What's your favorite podcast? Well, it's Good Life Project because blah, blah, blah. Then they go check out Good Life Project. They're thinking about you outside of the Facebook group. So Leah, this is great. I see a lot of nurture content. I don't see too much call to action content. There are two types of content that you can put in the Facebook group. Nurture content, which is content to move a stranger to a raving fan, and then call to action content that moves people from content to Facebook Messenger. So I'm not seeing too much conversion or call to action content. I would engage in more conversations in Messenger where you can see if they're a good fit for your offers. So a simple, um, who needs help with uh, establishing a good nutrition and workout routine? Um, and then people raise their hand, hey, can I shoot you a personal message? And then boom, you're in Messenger, you're engaging, you're figuring out what their current challenges are, what their desired uh, results are, uh, what, uh, what's the gap, what are the struggles, what their level of urgency is, asking those questions. And then you prescribe a call with them if they're a good fit and if you can actually help them, right? Um, so I would love to see more call to action content, Leah. Just a, just a simple, hey, who needs help with this? Or, hey, I'm taking on 10 more women this month uh, to help them with this. Who, who wants to explore that with me, right? Just simple call to action content to get people to raise their hand, right? But solid stuff. Uh, let me in. Cool. Let's go through the questions. Uh, this is actually going to be really helpful for you guys. Uh, when it comes to getting leads and prospects through Facebook freeway, what is your single biggest challenge? Cool. You're pulling out some, um, some of the tribal language that your ideal clients might be using. If I could help you solve your challenges. Cool. Can I be this is great getting them into Messenger. These are actually really solid questions. So these are really good. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Um, so actually really good questions. Unlimited leads and prospects. Dope, dope. Two years, man. Two years and that's it. 
You might want to start another Facebook group. The algorithm might have screwed you there. Um, do, do, do. All right. So here we go. I think this is Brett's. It's your time, brother. Um, copy for coaches. Solid. Make more income. Match your impact. Solid name. Um, again, broad. Uh, if you want to make them more targeted, um, you want to make sure that your Facebook group name aligns with your core offer. Um, you have the settings set up that takes people directly to the units. Highly recommend not doing that and taking people to discussion because they're much more likely to engage when they hit um, uh, when they hit your Facebook group discussion first. So I would go into the settings and change it to discussion from units. Um, do, do, do. Using a lot of Loom videos, you'll actually be more effective if you do these on Facebook Live. You'll get more engagement. Uh, you, the people will feel more connected with you, like we are right now, like all of you guys listening. Like, feel more connected because it's happening live and I can answer back and all of that stuff. So you'll get more uh, of a connection if you just pop on live and do these live instead of Loom videos. Um, I would always direct the new people to something. So cool, they're reading all that, but have them go through a five day challenge or, okay, so you have a mini series, but something to click on. Um, you can just go through our Facebook group. You can see how we direct people. Um, good engagement, cool, good engagement question. I would rack up those engagement questions. Um, copy for coaches, solid. I would do more interviews, man. I'm not seeing enough interviews. Um, solid trainings, but people wanna hear stories. Uh, as you know, as a copywriter and a great way to pull out somebody's story is through interviews, plus people who get interviewed in your group they can promote it to their audience and get more people into your group that way. Um, interviews with your clients, it's really, really solid. I'd love to see more interviews here. Um, cool, solid lunch and learns or ask me anything's work great. That's solid, dude. Solid, solid, solid. Cool, I see a lot of trainings, but I don't see many interviews or one one Facebook Live that worked really well for us um, is just me, sh like I sat down and I shared my story for like 45 minutes. Like people just want to hear inspiring stories, right? Like why'd you become a copywriter? Why do you help coaches with their copy? Like tell me, like I would do that right now. Um, and then your banner, you got to fix your banner. Like that's the first impression. And is this cut off? Like, dude, come on. Like your banner is the first thing people see. Like don't fuck around here. Like, especially going after coaches that are higher level that need help with copy. Like you need to make a good first impression. So out of love, fix your shit. Um, but cool, hope that was helpful. I'll just drop into an ask me anything. Oops. Boom. Yo, what's up, guys? Let's go through these questions. Rajesh, I will go back to yours, brother, another time. Uh, Michael is asking with test uh, testimonies and wins, if you have videos that are pre-done, should you upload it with a story or try to do them live, then toss them in the unit section? Um, so the pre-recorded ones I put on my personal Facebook page. Um, and then for, um, I, I ask for, our team asks for testimonials inside of the Facebook group. Then we uh, download it from the Facebook group and upload it to my personal page at a later date. Um, that's usually how it works out. And then we do a weekly client success interview uh, every Friday inside of the group and we're doing it with Doug Botton this week so that should be an awesome one dope um yeah let me show you what that looks like Michael do, do, do. 
Yeah. And honestly, you should just hop in one of our programs because you have an audience that's just killer already, and we can monetize that really fucking quick. Um, we've done it so many fucking times. <clears throat> so unit section, um, here we have the five day challenge, then we have expert interviews, and then we have client success interviews here. That's kind of our breakdown. But I would just put all your testimonials, all of that, that stuff inside of the unit section. But that's a good question. Yep, this is recorded, uh, so you can go back to it, Daniel. Um, but good questions. Keep them coming. Uh, do. Also, do the trainings need to be live? It will be more effective if they are live. Uh, you'll get more engagement. People will feel more connected with you. I mean, if you don't want to do them live, that's that's your choice. Just they'll be more effective if you do. Um, for me, that was GIF. Don't use that mofo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, conversion aspects. Yeah. So, yeah, there are only two types of content. You've got engagement con or not engagement. You've got nurture content. And this goes for... This goes for all the content that you create, being email, being Instagram, being YouTube, like all of it is is nurture content, like the content that moves a stranger to loving what you're doing and knowing what your product's about and all of that stuff. And then your second type of content is moving them somewhere else, right? Um, yeah. Uh, Donald, uh, I built an IDX a few years back and tried to get those guys to help me, but they just kept trying to sell me on their 1K course. Yeah. Where where the industry is moving is away from low-ticket 1K courses to the – it started moving more to core offers, and now it's moving more to the 12-month coaching and mastermind and mentorship offers like it's just going up and up and up because there's more trust being built up in the industry where people are willing to pay 30 50 even like i paid into a hundred thousand dollar mastermind um and that's where the industry is going uh so if you're constantly trying to do the webinar vsl sell the 1k 2k course um it's just it definitely doesn't work as effectively and it's going to continue to go down um, where everything is going core offer, MRR offer, um, and then bringing people in with a self liquidating offer on the front end, but also having, um, uh, having VSLs and webinars to support uh, moving somebody from a stranger to a raving fan of what you do. Um, and here's my mastermind at 150. Yeah, and that's a, uh, don't do that. <laughs> like if you're calling it a mastermind, don't do that. Um, but yeah. Uh, Daniel, um, how important is creating units in your opinion? Haven't decided on that yet. Um, it's highly effective because it gives people the opportunity to go through your content one by one by one. Like YouTube is really good because like people watch a video and then they're on to the next video. It's kind of that aspect inside of your uh, Facebook group because you can scroll through the discussion feed, but if you don't have units set up where people can watch testimonial after testimonial after testimonial or training after training after training, like you want to have that element inside of your Facebook group. So when people are like, oh shit, I want to learn more about what uh, what Daniel has to offer, then they go to the unit section and boom, 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 and they can just go through it, right? Uh, as a developer, I pay like $20 for courses that end up making me thousands of dollars. A lot of people just want to get their uh, opinion out there. Yeah, I still buy a lot of courses and give them to my team members, um, so we still use courses a lot. Um, but I'm also involved in four masterminds, 
that are multiple five figures. Um, but I wasn't there like two years ago. It's kind of just a nobody. <laughs> but cool. If you guys have any more questions, can you talk about self liquidating offer on the front end a bit more? Yeah. So we started running Facebook ads and what we found is you get better quality leads if you are charging a low price to get them in the door. So we have a messenger sales masterclass that just delivers massive fucking value. And that gets people onto our list that are a higher level of um, hopping on a free webinar, free VSL on the front end. So it's a part of the equation, but the idea behind a self-liquidating offer is that it's a low ticket offer that you kind of just off offset ad spend and uh, break, break even. And then on the back end, you're following up, um, seeing if this person is a good fit for your higher end course or mastermind core offer, your service, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, that's essentially what a self-liquidating offer is or SLO. <clears throat> and that's, that's really where I see the industry going is a mixture between like you get, if, if you join our mastermind and implement this shit, like you will be way ahead of the curve of what other people are teaching because most people are teaching shit that works like a year ago, two years ago, and they continue teaching it. Uh, I mean, you look at Sam Oven's course, you look at, uh, you look at uh, uh, who else? Um, there are a bunch of other big names out there where their course isn't even finished. They haven't updated their content in like a year or two years. And it's like, you're learning shit that worked like two, three years ago. Like it doesn't work that way in the digital marketing space. Like we're constantly upgrading uh, our, our content uh, to fit into what actually is going on, where there's a shift uh, that like webinars and VSLs, like they're good, there's good supporting assets, but there's a shift more towards self-liquidating offers and uh, conversion marketing and or conversation marketing and sales, like having those intimate conversations through text, through messenger, through, uh, through phone calls, like, there's a shift happening where people want to be more intimate with uh, the, the, the team or the business that's selling. They don't want to be sold through automation, um, being VSLs, webinars. They need more touch points, all of that stuff. Um, but they're willing to invest at a higher price point now. So, um, yeah, that's where everything's going. Um, but, uh, yeah, a lot of courses and coaching programs are not keeping up with it. It's fucking sad. Um, dope. Is that also in your mastermind? Yes. Yeah. We're building that out in our seven figure CEO mastermind. Um, that's where we start talking about paid traffic. If you're below six figures, that's where our authority accelerator program comes in where we only teach organic inside of, uh, authority accelerator and, uh, building your high ticket offer because you shouldn't be running Facebook ads below six figures. Like I had a, a, a half a million dollar business in 2018 from just running my Facebook group uh, without any paid ads. And I see way too many people getting tripped up with paid ads right off the bat where they should not be running it. Like you should be building up cash flow um, and then running paid ads. <clears throat> Good questions. Do, do, do. Cool. Well, uh, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for being here. I hope you got a lot out of it. If you did, hit that heart button, hit that like button, leave a comment, tell me your biggest takeaway. Uh, and I am about to go see some seals at uh, La Jolla Beach in California. So doing that with my girlfriend. And uh, so we're about to run out the door right now. And I'll talk to you guys later.